the Southwest region. Even though the Southwest region covers a large amount of land, it has the smallest number of states compared to all of the other regions. There are only four states in the Southwest region, Oklahoma, Texas, New Mexico, and Arizona. The Southwest region stretches from the Gulf of Mexico off the coast of Texas to the Colorado River in Arizona. Mexico borders the region on the south. The Sonoran Desert and the Chihuahuan Desert make up a large part of the land in the Southwest region. The Sonoran Desert covers most of the southern half of Arizona all the way east to New Mexico. The Sonoran Desert has large sandy plains and bleak mountains. Branches of the Colorado River run through it, so many trees, cacti, and shrubs find enough water to grow there. Beautiful flowering cacti and yucca make the desert seem more like a garden than an open sandy place one might imagine. The Chihuahuan Desert is the largest desert in North America. It is approximately 800 miles long and 250 miles wide. Most of the Chihuahuan Desert is in Mexico. In the United States, it extends into parts of New Mexico, Texas, and sections of southeastern Arizona. The Southwest has vast plains, spectacular canyons, and colorful plateaus. The eastern part of the Southwest region is made up of plains, which are areas of flat land. The central plains are the lowest lands in the Southwest region. The fertile soil of the central plains spread from the coast of Texas along the Gulf of Mexico and into central Oklahoma. The central plains are home to many farms and ranches. Farther west, the land rises to form the Colorado Plateau. A plateau is a high, flat landform that rises steeply from the land around it. The Colorado Plateau covers much of the northern New Mexico and Arizona. Most of the Colorado Plateau is fairly level, but it is crisscrossed by hundreds of deep canyons. A canyon is a deep, narrow valley with steep sides. The largest and most famous of these canyons is the Grand Canyon. Grand Canyon runs through 217 miles of Arizona. Parts of the Grand Canyon are a mile deep and 18 miles wide. The Grand Canyon is also so deep that the top and the bottom have different weather. The Grand Canyon is made up of layers of rock. The bottom layers are more than a billion years old. At the bottom of the canyon is the Colorado River. This river has been flowing through the Grand Canyon for millions of years. The force of the water has caused the walls of the canyon to wear away over time. This wearing away of rock is called erosion. Erosion is why the Grand Canyon is so deep. The Colorado River travels south and west down through some of the driest part of the country. Then it crosses into Mexico and ends up in the Gulf of California. The Colorado River is 1,470 miles long. Many smaller rivers flow into the Colorado. Rivers that join other rivers are called tributaries. Each tributary adds water, and soil called silt to the Colorado. This silt gives the river its reddish brown color. The Hoover Dam is one of America's greatest manufactured structures. The Hoover Dam was built to control flooding on the Colorado River and to store water. An area where water is stored is called a reservoir. The Hoover Dam was built more than 60 years ago Lake Mead, the lake behind the Hoover Dam, provides water for many of the people in the southwest region. 
The Rio Grande River also brings much needed water to the area. It is 1,885 miles long. This river begins in the mountains of Colorado and then flows south through the middle of New Mexico. Then the river turns southeast, making a bend along the border of Texas until it empties into the Gulf of Mexico. The Rio Grande forms part of the borders between the United States and Mexico. The climate of the South West region. Okay, so remember when we're talking about climate, we're talking about weather that usually happens in a certain area during a certain time of year. Much of the Southwest region is desert, so it has hot, dry climate with very little rain. Many places in the Southwest region have 300 days of sunshine a year. The climate of the southwest region is mild. That means there are no changes in the weather, or not a lot of changes in the weather. Because it is sunny and warm most of the time, people like to visit this region. The eastern parts of Oklahoma and Texas get enough rain to grow crops, but water must still be used carefully. When it doesn't rain for a long time, a drought can occur. A drought is a period of little or no rain. Droughts can cause serious problems because they can hurt crops. What changes do you notice in the bottom two pictures? This is a section along the Red River in normal conditions and during prolonged droughts. Much of the land in the southwest region is bare. Not enough rain falls for forests to grow. Over time, plants and animals and people have all adapted to living in this dry land. To adapt means to change in order to survive. The Navajo, for example, learn how to grow corn and raise sheep with little rainfall. The desert animals have adapted to their environment. Some of the animals in the desert are the Mexican gray wolf, the great horned owl, the golden eagle, and the rattlesnake. During the day, the animals find little hideouts where the sun cannot get to them. Many desert animals, such as the bighorn sheep, pocket mouse, and the antelope, use cacti and other vegetation as shelter from the harsh weather and as a source of water. The bighorn sheep has adapted to the desert because it has big feet, which are good for walking on the rough terrain. The bighorn sheep only needs to drink every few days. The pocket mouse doesn't need to drink at all because it gets all its water that it needs from the food that it eats. Most of the desert animals are nocturnal, which means that they hunt at night when it is cooler. Phoenix, Arizona is America's hottest large city. During the summer temperatures, temperatures can soar up to 115 degrees Fahrenheit. A hundred years ago, Phoenix was a small town. Not many people wanted to move to Arizona because it was too hot, too dry, and too lonely. Two things made it possible to live in the desert. Air conditioners and automobiles. Air conditioning lets people live in comfort no matter how hot the day is. Automobiles or cars made travel through the desert safer. Travelers who got stuck in the desert could die of thirst because cars and good roads made the travel easier and safer. People began to move to Phoenix. Some liked the hot, dry weather so much that they decided to live there. With a population of more than 1 million people, Phoenix is now the sixth largest city in the United States. The products and natural resources of the Southwest region.
There are many cattle and sheep ranches in the Southwest region. The Southwest region leads all the other states in the raising of beef, cattle, as well as sheep. The cattle provide beef to all parts of the United States. Some beef is sold to other nations like Japan. Deserts are full of valuable minerals. Gold, iron, and copper are found in the Colorado River Basin. New Mexico is known for its silver mines. Arizona produces about two-thirds of the copper mined in the United States. People have been digging in Arizona for precious metals for a long time. Native Americans use gold, silver, and copper for tools and weapons, as well as for jewelry and in paint for pottery. Copper ore is still mined in the state for many different uses. Copper is used in mostly wiring or coins, such as pennies. The Southwest region is also rich in fuels that supply energy. Uranium, coal, natural gas, and oil are all found in the Southwest region. The most important natural resource in the Southwest is oil. Oil is so valuable that it has been nicknamed black gold. The oil that bubbles up from the ground is called crude oil and is not very useful. A refinery is a kind of factory that separates crude oil into parts like gasoline and heating oil. Some parts of the crude oil are used to produce goods like plastic, crayons, and medicines. A typical refinery costs billions of dollars to build and millions more to maintain. A refinery runs 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, and requires a large number of employees to run it. A refinery can occupy as much land as several hundred football fields. Workers often ride bicycles to move from place to place inside the complex. One of the biggest problems of the Southwest region is a limited supply of water. Aqueducts are used in the Southwest to move water from lakes and rivers to farms and cities. Aqueducts are large pipes or canals that move water along long distances. The people of the Southwest rely on the Colorado River for many things. The Colorado River provides drinking water for 25 million people. It supplies water for more than 3 million acres of farmland. Water rushing through openings in the dams on the river cause huge machines to spin. These machines are called turbines. These spinning turbines produce much of the electricity used in the Southwest. Landmarks. The Grand Canyon is the most famous landmark in the Southwest region. Many people today visit the Grand Canyon National Park. The tourists enjoy hiking, riding mules on trails, rafting on the Colorado River, or simply looking at the beautiful landforms. Carlsbad Caverns National Park in New Mexico is another popular tourist destination. More than 85 caves and caverns make up the park. According to local legend, a cowboy named Jim White found Carlsbad Caverns. One evening, White saw what looked like a plume of smoke rising into the sky. That smoke was actually a cloud of bats flying out of the cave entrance. Hundreds of thousands of bats sleep in the caverns during the day. At night, they leave in a giant, whirring cloud to hunt for food. Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas is responsible for training astronauts from both the United States and its international partners. All of the astronauts live and train at the Space Center in Houston. The Johnson Space Center's Mission Control Center manages all activity on board the spacecraft and directs all space shuttle missions. You can see another type of fossil, petrified wood, in the petrified forest. When you go to the petrified forest, it's not like walking into a normal forest. It's more like walking into the desert 
Most of the forest is still buried under the sand, and only some small parts have been revealed to the surface by erosion. Petrified wood found in the park and the surrounding region is made up of almost solid quartz. Each brightly colored piece is like a giant crystal, often sparkling in the sunlight as if covered by glitter. The southwest region is famous for its missions. A mission is a Spanish settlement where priests taught Native Americans the Christian religion. The missions were built in the early 1700s. Okay, the culture of the Southwest. Parts of the Southwest once belonged to Mexico. Texas split off from Mexico in 1836 and joined the United States in 1845. Mexico and the United States went to war the following year. The United States won. Mexico had to give the Southwest to the United States. Spanish and Mexican influence is still strong in the Southwest region. Many people in the Southwest region speak Spanish. Many foods and festivals in the region come from Spain or Mexico. Many buildings are made in Spanish, Mexican, and American Indian styles. The Southwest has many Spanish American and Native American people. More American Indians live in the Southwest than any other region of the United States. There are many Indian reservations, including the Navajo, the Zuni, the Apache tribes. The Navajo reservations is the home of the biggest American Indian tribe. Many of the Navajo who live there still follow some of their Native American traditions, while others have a more modern lifestyle. Some people live in modern homes, while others live in traditional homes called hogans. Tortillas are an important ingredient in the traditional Southwest cooking. The tortilla acts as a wrapper or as a bread. Wedges of tortillas are fried to make tortilla chips. Nachos, tacos, enchiladas, quesadillas, and burritos are all made with tortillas. Because many kinds of hot chili peppers are grown in the Southwest, many of the foods served in the Southwest are spicy. Green chili peppers are made into salsa. Red chili peppers are used in slow-cooked dishes. The most popular slow-cooked dish is chili con carne, basically chili with meat, and it's made with meat simmered in a sauce of dried red chili peppers, tomatoes, and a variety of spices. Contests are held throughout the Southwest region to determine who has the best chili recipe. Tamales are packets of corn-based dough that are wrapped in softened corn husks and steamed. The corn husks are removed at the table before the tamales are eaten. White tamales are served throughout the year in restaurants in the Southwest. Tamales are traditional Christmas food. Families and friends gather to assemble dozens of tamales. Traditional Christmas tamales are made from masa or a dough of corn with a filling of shredded beef that has been stewed with red chilies and spices. 